Hey guys, I'm Anthony, my YouTube channel is Super Sanchez, and I'm here with... I'm Byron, uh, my YouTube channel is uh, Mega Spider-Man Freak. So yeah, we're uh, both YouTubers of course, and I thought it would be an awesome idea to collaborate with different YouTubers to bring you a wider range of video. Uh, later this week I'll be doing a collaboration with him again on his channel, and hopefully in the future we'll be able to make some more collaborations. So, in this episode we're going to be talking about Spider-Man joining the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I thought I'd make this to hear what other people had to say about the topic. So, the things we're going to be going through right now is cast choices, costume ideas, villain ideas, and finally story ideas. So I guess the first thing we'll start off with is cast choices. So who do you think would be a good Spider-Man? Um, well, see, there's a lot of speculation people wanting, you know, Logan Lerman and Dylan O'Brien. But I would I would really like to see Dylan O'Brien as, as Spider-Man. I don't know about you. Uh, yeah, I think um, a lot of people saw him in, I think, the movie The Major Honor or something. I haven't actually seen that, but apparently he was good in that. And a lot of people say that... Um, you know, he does look the part, and I do see where they're coming from, especially from the new, uh, Marvel Now Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, he actually does look a lot like him, but, yeah, also, I was thinking, uh, Logan Lerman would probably also play a pretty good one. But, um, also into the mix, a lot of people have said something about, uh, Josh Hutcherson, who's in the Hunger Games, because back in 2011, he auditioned for the first Amazing Spider-Man, but I think saw that audition tape and it looked terrible so yeah what did you think about that well like the first time i saw it i thought he was auditioning well i didn't actually think he was auditioning i just thought you know he made that just for fun of it and then i started reading like more about it but i thought i thought it was like all right i didn't i thought it was all right i thought it wasn't the best but it was like an all right video yeah i just can't really see him playing as peter Parker. who just looks too much like a uh i guess it's kind of overrated as well, kind of. I think we should just give another actor a chance, kind of like a small uh, actor. I guess it's not really that popular, but yeah. Yeah, uh, like, so, like yeah. the most, the the most that are the most good actors are really like I don't want to sound rude to all the actors, but are usually the nobodies because those are the ones who end up being like one of the greatest. Yeah, exactly. Like I remember back in I think 2011 when they first revealed. Uh, Andrew Garfield, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. so they're replacing Tobey Maguire, and I, like, I was really pissed off, but then when I actually saw him in the movie, I was like, wow, he's like the greatest Pe Peter Parker we've seen on screen, like, it was amazing, and yeah, like, he was a nobody, so, yeah, I guess that's, we'll see what happens, though, um, we'll just have to wait until, uh, either Civil War, or the actual new movie, which comes out 2017. Let's just hope for the best. So, next thing we'll be talking about is costume ideas. Um, actually, going back to the cast, apparently uh, they wanted to cast the guy who's who plays Miles Morales in the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon. Uh, I forgot his Donald, name. Donald Glover? Yeah, Donald Glover. Um, and actually, in The Amazing Spider-Man, there's actually a poster of him on Peter Parker's wall. Uh, Mark Webb put it there because he knew a lot of fans liked him as Miles Morales. Yeah, yeah, I heard a lot about um, them. Well, in 2012, 2011, my bad. I heard a lot of people like saying uh, Donald Glover for Spider Man, this and that. You know, they wanted him a lot just for a sake of change. Yeah. But I thought I thought it was kind of you know I don't want to sound racist or anything, but I just don't I just don't see um that kind of that kind of race being you know Peter Parker. Yeah, like I reckon maybe. I mean, like they... sure he's a good actor and everything, but like yeah. he's yeah. Yeah, I mean, if they wanted to put uh Miles Morales, I guess. Because uh, the costume does look really cool, like the red and black costume, I'm really digging that costume, but uh, yeah. what they should have done is, I reckon, if Sony and Marvel collaborated earlier, they could have done, put, like, Peter Parker in the Avengers, and then now that they're creating, like, a new Avengers, and they're going to kill off a lot of the Avengers, I think, they could have made the new, like, with the new Avengers, he could have been in the new Avengers, Miles Morales, like, yeah. I reckon that would be pretty cool, but yeah, so... So I guess costume idea. So yeah, the Miles Morales costume does look pretty good, except you're going to need a black Spider-Man if you want the Miles Morales costume. But what do you yeah, think and, about... Yeah, and going back to Miles Morales, I don't think it's time for a Miles Morales yet. Yeah, it's a bit too early for that. I think we should just stay with the classic red and blue as well. So, like, what yeah. do you think if they kind of kept the same costume from Amazing Spider-Man 2? Because that was really awesome. That would really stay true to the comics. Yeah, I I think it would be really cool if they stayed with it, but it wouldn't explain a lot of things. It would it would confuse a lot of basically the fans that don't 
aren't updated with, you know, the reboot and everything, they would be like, oh, you know, oh, it's the Amazing Spider-Man 2, like, sort of continuation, and then they take off the mask, and they see, like, oh, that's not Andrew Garfield, like, what, what's going on? Yeah, 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 I see what you mean. I reckon, yeah, um... So they would, they would, I, I'm pretty sure they would have to change, they would have to change the costume and make it, like, some kind of different type of leather, and, you know, it would just look different. Yeah, I reckon it would be pretty cool if they there was an origin, which I hope there isn't, but if there is, and maybe his uh, wrestling costume could be the Ben Riley Scarlet Spider, because uh, I reckon that looks a lot like a homemade costume, and I don't think they're really going to do the Clone Wars in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, to be honest. So I reckon that would be pretty cool if we did get to see that, because that's one of my favorite costumes as well. Yeah. And also, maybe they can introduce the symbiote, or um, you know, have a black suit still without having the Miles Morales. But yeah. yeah, yeah. So I reckon for, I guess, just costume ideas in general, I think they should stick with the big lenses like they did with Amazing Spider-Man 2. Like, those look really good. Those look really a lot like the comics. Uh, also, I reckon... Farland lenses look really great. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those ones are... Yeah, those ones are awesome. Like, even just the McFarlane costume in general is probably one of my favorite ones, to be honest. I reckon something along those lines, uh, maybe, like... As you said, the McFarlane one, but maybe a different Spider-Man logo. I don't really like the logo in that costume, but yeah. So, All right. So now we'll get on to villain ideas. Um, apparently in the Daredevil show, they've actually cast someone to play uh, Kingpin, and he's actually has been revealed in the trailer. And since Daredevil uh, is part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe now, a lot of people are thinking that Kingpin might be actually one of the villains that Spider-Man meets first. Uh, what do you think about this? Um. I think that's a great idea, but then again, I think, like, uh, no, not yet as well, because if Kingpin is, like, the first villain, it, um, basically, Kim, Kingpin didn't really, up, like, confront Spider-Man first, uh, up until, like, um, all his other villains that he told, like, to go fight him, uh, fought with Spider-Man, and then he took matters of himself, like, at the end of everyone else who fought him, so I think he wouldn't be the first villain yet. Yeah, like, I reckon what they should do is, uh, I think it was Marvel who was saying they wanted, like, Shocker or Mysterio or something. I reckon it would be pretty cool to actually have Shocker seen as a small-time villain, or even Mysterio, and then, like, um, after he actually defeats the Shocker and Mysterio, then we do find out that, uh, Kingpin is actually pulling the strings and he's the one behind everything, I guess, and he's, uh, telling them to defeat him and stuff like that. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. yeah, like, that would make more sense, so... Yeah, I reckon that would be pretty cool. Also, a few other villains, um, of course, I just said Shocker and Mysterio. Uh, they're really awesome villains. Just like, Mysterio is my favorite uh, Spider-Man villain. Yeah. And he's really interesting. Mysterio is really cool. Pretty yeah, cool. and I've always wanted to see him on screen, so that would be pretty cool. And also, I guess Venom, uh, they could try to redo Venom. I mean, Spider-Man 3, they kind of failed big time with him. But I reckon in Marvel's hands, uh, they, could do a, they could pull off a pretty good Venom. And also, uh, you know, I kind of... I kind of want to see Green Goblin again, but I kind of don't because we've already seen him twice. And Dane DeHaan's Green Goblin was amazing, but I mean, it's it's kind of unlikely that they'll put him in again, yeah. I mean, for Green Goblin, I'm pretty sure they're going to be kind of forced to because Norman Osborn was a huge part of the Marvel comics. And then, like, he, he not only went versus Spider-Man, but he went versus, like, many other heroes. Like, Captain America had to help Spider-Man at some point. Um, fighting Norman Osborn as the Green Goblin, because Norman is actually like a pretty, pretty, pretty big character to Spider-Man and Marvel. Yeah, and something that I just realized that I just remembered is that now that it is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they probably don't even need Green Goblin. What they could do is um, something that I'm pretty excited about is Norman Osborn could actually still road suit and work with AIM, and he could be, like, because originally Iron Patriot was a villain, and it was Norman Osborn, and he created his own team of Avengers with, like, Venom and um, other villains that were allies, no, not allies, sorry, that were um, villains for the other heroes, I guess, their main villains, and then he joined them all together and created a... Uh, evil Avengers, so I reckon that would be pretty cool if they did that. Like, what do you think? That would be that? that would be amazing if that was for like the Sinister Six, the Avengers versus like the Sinister Six, because yeah. they're still continuing the Sinister Six spinoff film. So I mean, it would be great if that were to happen, or like see that in Avengers: Infinity War Part One or either Part Two. Yeah, I'm really excited for Inf Infinity War as well, but I don't think they'll put Sinister Six in Infinity Wars. But yeah, I'm kind of. Um... 
I have mixed thoughts for Sinister Six because now that he's in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's going to be hard to develop all the villains in time for the Sinister Six movie um, since there's already enough big stuff happening such as Civil War and Infinity Wars. You know, they're going to need a lot of space to actually for development. So it's going to be a bit hard to do that, but yeah. That or they don't have to really put the origin story of each and one of them, you know. They could all just already be in, like... Off screen, Spider Man put them in jail, and then in jail they reunite each other, you know, and they start, you know, their group there, and they they escape jail or they escape their prison, which is which could either be Ravencroft or um that the other rot. place that Rhino was, yeah, and you know they could just escape there, and then there there wouldn't be so much of an origin story, you know, it would it would be it would make sense. Yes, um, like I know I. I kind of see your point, but I guess uh, I think they do kind of need development because a lot of them are very interesting characters and they're very uh, deep characters as well because they're massive characters in the comics. So I think they do need a bit of development and maybe like flashback scenes in that. But yeah, I don't think Sinister Six will really work, to be honest. Um, I mean, we could the ones who really need character development and origin stories are the ones we haven't seen on screen yet. Like, for example, Rhino. We know Rhino already. We know his origin. Um, other characters, for example, let's say Electro is in the Sinister Six again, but it's a different um, cast member. We already know his origin. We don't have to, like, re-see it again, or unless they want to, like, retell it in a different kind of way. But I, yeah. I think the ones who really need origin stories are the ones that haven't been on screen yet. Yeah, I reckon, like, Doc Ock and... Mysterio will definitely need some backstory as well as oh Craven also like Craven I hope they put him in and he's gonna need a mass uh, need a massive backstory. Um, but yeah, I reckon like characters such as Rhino and Sandman like they don't really need much development to be honest. Like with Rhino, or, yeah, like with characters such as the Rhino like he's kind of just um to be honest he doesn't really need much development because he's like kind of just a dumb guy who's uh, just trying oh, to yeah. kill Spider Man to be honest. I mean, yeah. But yeah, I guess um, we'll see what Marvel does do in terms of development, and yeah, hopefully it does work out for the best. And now we'll move on to story ideas. So, what are your what are your favorite stories in the Spider-Man uh, comic universe that you actually like? Uh, some of the story arcs, and which one you'd think would work in the like Marvel Cinematic Universe? Oh Jesus. Um... There's a lot. I mean, I really like the way they started it with Ultimate and the Amazing Spider-Man. But I mean, since that is already taken, and so is like the first Amazing, first like the original comic books, like they took that with Sam Raimi. So it's it's a tough one actually. I don't know. I mean, they could mix both of them together, and like since it's Marvel, they could make it run smoothly. You know. Yeah, I don't think they really need um. An origin story. I don't think they should do another origin story because we've seen it way too many times. I mean, everyone already knows his origin story. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So, like, like, origin story, I don't... Yeah, and, like, so, like, story-wise, I think it would be, gr like... Since it, since now it's a younger Peter Parker and, like, the love story is, like, no longer important. It's, I think, yeah, I think they don't really need to base off, like, stories and comics. Like, at this point, we already know why he's Spider-Man and all this stuff. So, I mean, they're just going to, like, start basically checking the stories of the villains so they know how to make or introduce the villains smoothly into the movies. Yeah, I mean, like, I reckon uh, it would be... Like, yeah, as I said, we need his origin story because everyone already knows, you know, he gets bitten by a spider, uh, un like, his uncle dies, and then he needs to use his powers um, to with responsibility in that. Yeah. So, but, yeah, I, re I reckon some good stories, I guess, you know... Um, like, as you said about the uh, love part, how he does, there doesn't really need to be that aspect of it. I reckon there should be a bit of a small aspect, but just not as focused on as they did in the Amazing Spider-Man series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think they focused a lot on that aspect in the Amazing Spider-Man, and yeah, it worked really well, but I think we just want to see him um, just kick some ass in this movie, I guess, in this universe. And I reckon it would be uh, pretty cool if they did do some type of Venom storyline, uh, or even... Uh, just, you know, as you said, with the Ultimate Comics and that, like, those ones were really good. And also, maybe, you know, the Clone Saga, I guess they can't really do that. That's a bit hard to do. But, yeah, I guess we'll just see how it happens, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I reckon he should just join. Uh, they see that he does have potential and they can just, he just goes on with the Avengers, I guess. And I mean, yeah. they're going to they're gonna make him join the Avengers, like, for yeah. sure. But, yeah. like, 
introducing like slowly or they were gonna have to I think to make him join the Avengers like a good storyline like on how or why it would be like the Amazing Spider-Man comics because like I, I like the way they introduced him to to um to the Avengers in that one yeah I hope they do do like uh in terms of story arcs like Craven's Last Hunt that'd be really yeah. cool and also something like this would like I was just thinking this um just as a bit of speculation and it is um it might, it's very unlikely, but I reckon it'd be pretty cool if at the start Spider Man was actually the symbiote and they probably then the Avengers like they saw him as a villain or something and then um I guess they took the symbiote away and then that creates venom, I guess. Something like that, you get if you get what I mean, like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I, I see like they the Avengers first try to like take off Spider Man thinking that he's a villain. Which like yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, so I reckon that'd be pretty cool to see something like that. Just as something interesting, something fresh, because we've already seen like a lot of different variations of Spider-Man, but nothing like yeah. that as him as a villain. I, so yeah, I don't, think, I don't think Peter Parker's gonna last that long in the in the in the in the big screen though, because like like a lot of people are saying, you know, they want Miles Morales as Spider-Man, and that's yeah. really that. You know, Marvel actually listens to the fans, so yeah. To make this story run smoothly, they're they're probably gonna kill off Peter Parker like. In his Very second early. film. Yeah. yeah, I reckon they should give him a few films and then maybe he should be killed off. Or maybe not really killed off. Maybe there can be, I guess, it would be a bit complicated with two Spider-Men on, screens, on screen. Uh, unless, but... unless they do a Spider-Verse, you know. Yeah, that's, what I, was really yeah, that's cool. what I was just thinking. Spider-Verse, yeah. That would be, yeah, that would be freaking amazing. Especially, and that could interlink with Infinity Wars, actually. I just thought of that. Um... Yeah, actually, yeah, Spider Verse. Actually, that would be really cool to see on screen as well. Um, did you see the? I think the joke. I think it was was it Seven Webheads he made, um, or it was Comic Book Cast, and they said something about uh, Spider Verse, and they brought and bring Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield back and bring them into the universe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was also an article on Marvel dot Um, it was supposedly that um, the reason why Andrew Garfield isn't returning as Spider Man is because they t- the Avengers and uh, well the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the Amazing Spider Man uh, franchise takes place in two different universes. Yeah. Supposedly, um, the Amazing Spider Man takes place in Earth uh, something six. It's it's just really confusing, but it would make sense. Yeah. It would make sense if like they bring Toby and Andrew, but as a Spider Verse, not as you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I reckon, yeah, that would be pretty cool. And if you also seen that post, I think Seven Webheads did. Um, like the Amazing Spider-Man two ending was like the Sopranos. So like, since it went to black, like that symbolizes that Spider-Man dies. Like when you know, yeah, how he, yeah, he fights it. Yeah, <laughs> that was a pretty interesting. I yeah, think it, it's I, obviously I, fake, I but yeah, Twitter. it's a pretty interesting aspect. Whoever thought of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. <coughs> Yeah, that pretty much brings this video to an end, uh, I guess, it's, I reckon I do, uh, have a lot of hope for the character, and hopefully Marvel doesn't, like, Marvel definitely won't fuck up, the only thing that, the no, only people that did fuck up was Sony. Yeah. yeah, I think the problem with Sony was they didn't really care about the character, they just, um, they just cared about the money, to be quite honest, so, I think that's why they, that's where they, uh, stuffed up, but, yeah, either way, um, I'm really excited to see Spider-Man in the Marvel Universe. I mean, my reaction to it was just, like, I, I just couldn't believe it. Yeah, so, so when I heard the news, I was, I was at the beginning, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't at all happy. I was yeah. like, no, Andrew, you know, he's leaving. But then, thinking about it, you know, I, it would help a lot, actually, if Spider-Man yeah. joins Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, mine was kind of the opposite. Like, I was really excited at first. <laughs> but, um... But then I realized, like, the next day or something, I started um, kind of feeling a bit, uh, I guess, kind of sad because Andrew Garfield was leaving. I was a really big fan of him. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I reckon just seeing that, like, that logo where it says, Welcome Home, Spidey. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was just, that really just was just amazing. Thank you so much for watching. It was so much fun to work with Varun. Make sure to check out his channel, which is Mega Spider-Man Freak, by clicking here or in the description below. Uh, I hope to do more collaborations in the near future, so yeah, leave your thoughts below on Spider-Man joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye. Spider-Man, Spider-Man,
does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size, catches seeds just like flies. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got radioactive blood. Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes the Spider-Man. In the chill of night, at the scene of a crime, like a streak of light, he arrives just in time. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Welcome, fame, he's ignored. Action is his reward to him. Life is a great big bang. Wherever there's a hang, you'll find a Spider-Man.